Hi everyone, can, uh, hopefully everyone can hear us in our presentation today. Um, my name is Rudolf, um, I'm just waiting to see, hi there. Um, can you please, yes, great, you can hear us. Um, Apologise, we weren't aware that we were on, but um, hi, my name is, uh, my name is Rudolf Salem and this is uh, Ursula Hartdog and we are both from uh, Ligon. Um, Ligon is a Aussie, mini Aussie startup and um, we've got quite a bit of history from the Australian banks, but um, our we wanted to share this opportunity with you today to talk about what we do at Ligon, um, how, we, how we got started, um, how, we use Hyper, how we use Hyperledger Fabric as part of our underlying capability and what we bring to market and we don't really want to talk too much, um, but ultimately we want to go through uh, what our what our, the Ligon Arc platform looks like and what we're actually delivering as a customer-centric customer solution that benefits not just financial institutions, but their customers um, and, and third parties. Um, what Ligon is, um, so we are a, a digital market um, operator and we see ourselves as a marketplace providing digital financial instruments. And we're starting off with um, bank guarantees um, and or letters of credit, which are known in some in some jurisdictions. Um, and, and Ligon really eventuated, um, and it has, it has been a customer story from day one, about five years ago, where a group of property institutional customers got most of the banks into a room and, and um, demanded that the whole bank guarantee process end to end should be, um, should be revised and to fix it, we need an industry solution to look at it. Um, and it really came down to fundamentally a number of problems. Um, and it was all really around paper. It was really around the, um, the management of paper, the reconciliation of paper, um, the ongoing um, transactions around those specific bank guarantees, um, and the, the, continue, uh, the length of time it took for issuers to issue bank guarantees to their, respect, to their respective clients. Um, from that, um, uh, both two banks in the Australian market, Westpac and ANZ, um, which I was lucky to be part of, uh, we did a proof of concept to test Hyperledger Fabric as a capability to address some of these problems. Um, from then on, um, uh, we continued, to, that was quite a successful uh, proof of concept. We continued to do um, development and got um, more banks involved in the Australian market and use, um, to help us in terms of development, setting what the workflows and the protocols are around, not just bank guarantees, but thinking ahead of what bank guarantees or financial instruments or digitizing financial instruments would look like in the future. Um, so you can say Ligon is designed by experts, by customers and, and, um, and product people from financial institutions. The capability we, we um, deliver is completely digitized. We are now a standalone entity um, that delivers customer-centric solutions for um, all parties in the ecosystem around financial bank guarantees, but also looking to build a network around financial or digital financial instruments. Um, so we can then tackle verticals and horizontals uh, with other capabilities. If you think about, you know, financial documentation, et cetera, and the, and the, um, and the, um, uh, whether it's transaction on these documentations or validation on these documentations. And part of the beauty about our product and what we bring to market is we not only create a seamless workflow, but we include standardization of the underlying terms and conditions associated with the associated with the product offering. And that is really key in terms of what we bring to what we bring to market and key in terms of why we um, you know our customers are excited about our capabilities why banks, um, not only here in Australian, Australian market, but in New Zealand market, are starting to use LIGOP. Um, we, are, um, we have gone through many, again, many security protocols, cyber security, et cetera. A safe, we are, we, are, we, are trusted, we are trusted capability, and we are ready to scale, we are ready to scale up. Um, Again, it's a complete, if ignoring the underlying, cap, uh, underlying capability and infrastructure which the Ligon platform sits on, um, we are digitizing um, the customer experience, we are digitizing the experience for banks, and we are also digitizing the experience for third parties. Um, on that point, I'm, we're going to actually then show you what Ligon looks like um, and just briefly go through 
um, some of the capabilities. Fundamentally, what we are doing is just being an enabler for digitizing bank, digitizing bank guarantees, but also how an applicant or any one of the trans, or any one of the parties can request a request um, a uh, a bank guarantee. How that is validated by all parties, and then that, how is that then becomes a valid bank guarantee on the Live on our platform? We do again. This is distributed ledger. We use Hyperledger Fabric as an underlying capability and infrastructure. Um, and with the simplicity that we will show you in terms of the front screen, the back end has the depending on the on the selection by the user, various protocols and workflows that enables the interaction and the transaction addresses. The pa addresses paper, it removes paper completely out of the out of the equation. Uh, we give everyone, and that's uh, we give everyone the same view of the data. We're able to capture an audit and audit history that we would never be able to capture before in paper. And we also give we also remove operational risk and and uh, and re uh, reduce fraud out of, out of the system um, because everyone has view of exactly what that transaction is. And for a for a third party who are recipients of these bank guarantees from multiple financial institutions, they can see them all in the one place on the one platform. Um, I'll now kind of hand over to Ursula as she goes through the presentation, and we will talk you through that just relatively quickly. I know we don't have much time here. Yes. Um, so I'll but, just and then we'll just kind of we'll just kind of explain what the, those key inputs are. Share window, share screen. Assuming that everyone is able to see our screen, we'll log in. Put it here. Log in as the applicant in this bank guarantee process. It'll be brought to the landing page of Ligon Arc. At this stage, they'll generate a bank guarantee by clicking the plus sign, start bank guarantee request. Enter the applicant's details. Those will generically infill details previously entering these details. They'll select the bank that they wish to utilize to generate their bank guarantee. At this stage, there are numerous types of bank guarantees that we're able to process. For this and, instance... And the beauty of the platform allows us, it's quite simple to add various types of bank guarantees and purpose types. Um, and that is a, a great benefit for customers as well. So again, it comes back to the underlying capability is really enabler here to allow us to, to generate um, these financial instruments with key data points relatively quickly and easily. Something that takes now literally minutes um, coming down from weeks where um, the issuance of a bank guarantee from a particular bank. Again, we reference our own standard, our own standard terms and conditions, and we create a bank guarantee. And it's really literally as simple as that. Um, and this has been done to make it as simple as we work with customers and, and banks in the, in the Australian market. Um, so Ursula just went through um, an applicant's view. Now we're going to go through a beneficiary's view. And again, because it's distributed ledger, for it to be a viable instrument, it needs to be, it needs to be validated by all three parties. So the applicant in, most, in this case, that, and then the, the platform then notifies outside of the platform the third party um, uh, and then that third party can action action that bank guarantee itself. So they'll click on the bank guarantee that requires issuance. They'll confirm the details of the parties are correct, the guarantee type, the guarantee purpose. They'll either reject, send it back to the applicant, verify the details as to why it was incorrect. It'll be sent back to the beneficiary for approval. Those details updated and approve. And therefore we've now started creation of that or that timeline and which is an audit trail with all the data visible by all parties. Um, now once that we have two validations, this will now go to the issuer, the issuer to issue a bank guarantee. And in this instance, because most banks have 
numerous levels of certification. I'll just log in as the lower level staff member at the bank to verify the documentation. They'll be notified by email or preference of communication that this document needs actioning. They'll click on the bank guarantee that needs issuance. Confirm all the details are correct. At, once again, at this stage, they're able to reject and that will go through the processes from the applicant to the beneficiary to once again approve. It'll be sent through to their level of approval. What I'll do is I'll approve and you'll be able to see in the timeline the stages of approval once again. This area is unamendable. It's time stamped, date stamped and person or action stamped. I'll now go to the higher level bank manager who will assess the bank guarantee once again. And at this level, it's the final stage of approval. Once this is approved, the bank guarantee is generated. So before that, and that's a that's the beauty of our platform, for that you can have multiple interactions between bank issuer, applicant, oh, sorry, applicant, beneficiary, issuer, but it's only until when the issuer presses a bank insurance. So really what we've done and the other capabilities, taking a piece of paper, put it into ones and zeros and code and put a legal framework to make it a legally binding instrument, um, which now allows all parties to transact on, see the same information, review those terms and conditions, and, sim and variations to those bank guarantees can be done completely digitally. There's no, there's, we, re, we have removed, removed paper from the process completely. Um, and if you, think about, if you think about some of the capability and, a bit of, and, the, and the impacts it has, for an issuer specifically, this has reduced um, for about t every thousand bank guarantees that they issue. And remembering yeah. these guys are issuing multiple bank guarantees, saving them 2,000 hours worth of, uh, worth of staff time. Um, physical handling of documents saves about 2,000 plus courier deliveries, 10,000 pieces of paper for every thousand bank guarantees. And not only that, you're giving some, you're giving parties 24 seven access of information. So even though Ursula and Ursula has gone through three screens, uh, this is uh, the underlying capability is, this is valid, this is different nodes validating the information across each other. And depending on the protocols or the action that you choose, the nodes then behave differently in terms of which validation needs to come first or second, et cetera. Um, it is a private, it is private, it is a private ledger, and we've been working for the last four years with IBM and um, and, and using um, Hyperledger Fabric to kind of design and build this cap this capability. Now, once you have a guarantee in place, you have visibility, you can have actions around that specific guarantee. If you um, you know whether it's a demand, cancel uplift um, or amend those bank guarantees typical transactions you, you see on a daily weekly basis um, or requiring someone to get out of their seat to go to a um, to a branch or to send it through to an operations team or an issuer bank this is now a completely digital um, experience um, and this is why issuers and beneficiaries and third parties are looking to adopt the live on platforming in the Australian market and New Zealand markets and um, from our perspective, we are we are ready to scale. We've shown so many benefits already using the underlying capability to not only to customers here, but cost of customers customers abroad. Um, and that was really what we wanted to kind of demonstrate in, in relation to the Ligon platform, um, and talk about what Ligon is and why we why Hyperledger was an enabler for us to be able to. Um, uh, to build to build out this to build out this capability again coming back to our mission now we've created this network it is to be the market operator for digital financial assets and looking to build some of that into um, into other financial assets as well um, yes we are a platform yes we have created an ecosystem but more fundamentally we've created this legal architecture around it that enables complete digitization of the transactions end to end um, 
it looks like we've got a few few questions coming through. Um, can you speak a little bit on the onboarding process into the platform? Yeah, sure. Um, so that's part of the legal architecture around the onboarding process. Um, and it's simply, we are a SaaS platform. So from an onboarding of a user, they'll go through our user terms and click through, similar to how you might set up a, um, a, a, a Google account or um, any other online account. Uh, we'll go through that. Do you have various validations about the, the user and their, and their linkages to organization and they're onboarded? Um, another question, uh, the session is scheduled or scheduled um, at the end also individual bring their own peer nodes. Um, so the individual can't bring their own peer nodes, but what we can, what we can do is that um, those nodes can be lifted and shifted to any to, um, uh, to any, um, any cloud solution. At the moment they all sit on under one, but can be easily moved to a, to a, a you know, bank specific um, cloud solution. Um, but each bank for security purposes, and this is another question, has their own, has their own node. Uh, we've made it flexible for third parties to kind of share nodes as well. And again, the requirement for the security perspective, you'd want one bank to see all the guarantees that they've issued in one place, but for a beneficiary, you'd want to see all the beneficiary, all the guarantees that they're a recipient of um, in the one place for multiple financial institutions. Yeah. Um, uh, how easy is it? Uh, another, we've got another question. How easy is it to onboard new products uh, besides bank guarantees? Um, relative, relatively simple. It's something we're going through into the product pipeline. I can't talk to that to that too much. Uh, but uh, if you keep an eye out um, on us, but Ligon.com, um, you can kind of see some of the new product and capabilities we're introducing um, around in various around various industries and various sectors. So if you think about the legal industry and the insurance industry, it's something we're looking at to apply apply now. Um, so, um, what is a what is a revenue model? Um, uh, again, it's a SaaS platform, so it's a, it's a, a revenue model based on the transaction of usage, very high level. And I think we've actually run out of uh, run out of time. Um, so. Everyone, thank you very much. Thanks for allowing us to demonstrate live on our capability and from Ursula and I. Um, thank you. Pre uh, appreciate you staying, you staying online.